Hey everyone, today let's dive into a concept that's been causing quite a stir online, you will own nothing and be happy. This idea was popularized in discussions surrounding the World Economic Forum and its former executive head Klaus Schwab, but what does this really mean and why does it matter now as Schwab steps down? First off, the statement you will own nothing and be happy seems pretty radical, doesn't it? It comes from a prediction about the future where people might not own personal possessions like they used to, but instead, use services that provide them when needed. Imagine not owning a car, but using a rideshare app whenever you need to get somewhere. Sounds convenient, right? But here's the twist. This idea has sparked a lot of debates. Supporters believe it could lead to a more sustainable and less materialistic lifestyle, potentially solving some of our environmental issues. On the other hand, critics argue it could lead to excessive control over people's lives, limiting personal freedom. Now let's talk about Klaus Schwab. He recently stepped down as the executive head of the WEF, and it's interesting to speculate why. While we don't have all the details, leadership changes can reflect shifts in an organization's direction or response to public feedback. Perhaps it's a bit of both. In conclusion, while the idea of owning nothing might seem alien or even unwelcome, it taps into ongoing conversations about sustainability and economic models in our rapidly changing world. As we move forward, it's crucial to keep these discussions alive, understanding different perspectives and thinking critically about the future we want to build. What do you think? Could you be happy owning less? Or is personal ownership too valuable to give up? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more discussions like this. See you in the next video.